All right, it's a quiet day at the Clark Planetarium. Let's travel through space. Join us today on the XP Project. All right, so we are out at the Clark Planetarium. This is located downtown Salt Lake, right by, uh, it's actually inside the Gateway Mall down in downtown Salt Lake. So if you can't find it, just go to the Gateway Mall. It's a huge outdoor mall. Um, and this is kind of towards, kind of more of the southern side of the mall. Um, the one thing I really love about this place is that it is free to get into. They do have shows that you can buy and things like that. But if you want to just come down, this is an awesome, um, and we're here on a Sunday. There's really not a lot of people here. This is a perfect place to come just for a nice little free afternoon with the kids um, or even just by yourself it's just a great thing um, they display everything about like space and um, and the shows are amazing if you get time going to one of those I can't obviously film those but they're really good so let's kind of go check out what's here I love this right here when you kind of go in at first there's the pendulum and this is basically showing like the earth's rotation and it eventually just hits these little pegs one at a time and it's just cool to kind of sit here sometimes if you sit here long enough you can see it knock down a peg I love this there's a fun little game here that you can play where you're basically like um, you're basically like protecting the world from like the asteroids. It's really fun. Again, it's just like I always say this when I'm out here, but it's just like all these little free activities that your kids can do. You can spend a couple hours in here and you're not going to spend a dime, but I would suggest getting, like I said, those tickets to the shows because they're just unbelievable. They've got a lot of really good displays of like these meteorites and actually right here, that's really cool. This is a lunar meteorite and you can actually get in. There's a magnifying glass that shows it to detail. I love that so much. This little game right here is a really fun one. So basically like you're trying to land your uh, spaceship on the moon and it's just really fun. You got these buttons down here. It's just something really fun for like the kids to play just to keep them busy. This is actually one of my favorite things here. You can step into this thing and it act, you actually like disrupt the tornado, but it kind of shows how a tornado forms. And if you sit here long enough, it really gets spinning good. You can see that. I love just sitting here and watch this and the kids love playing in it. It's kind of crazy to think this small scale tornado, it's like, I mean, this is just what, like four feet high, but imagine that thing being like 200 feet high and that thing's just wrecking everything in its path. So this next area is actually one of my favorite things. They've got these tubes here and they like conduct electricity and you can put your fingers on it and it kind of shows how the electricity is conducted and they got, they got one of those big ball uh, electric things that we you know would see when we were little kids. But I just love those because it looks so cool, the different types of electricity. They've got a great little screen here. It's kind of a nice little photo op situation. It basically is like pulsating like the sun would. And this just changes and like looks like kind of like the surface of the sun. It's really awesome. Right here, here you get it. Woohoo! 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 One of the things I love about this place is there's just so much for like the kids and stuff to interact with. It makes it so nice because it's free to come in here and just look around and so it gives your kids a really nice afternoon of interacting and it's also super educational as well so you're hitting two birds with one stone for sure all right everybody I've officially landed on Mars it's really red here that's all I can really tell you it's scary I don't know how I'm gonna get back home I love this room so much. So it's a little kind of back room in the back and it looks like Mars, the surface of Mars. And it's fun, the kids can kind of plan stuff but it kind of makes you feel like you're there. It's really cool. And they've got these little things that you can drive. They're like the little rovers on Mars. That wasn't here last time I was here. That's really cool.
this blue one is cold and this uh, red one's like warmer. And so you put your hands on that. So like you go like this, you put your hands on like the cold one. And then when you come up here, it'll show you, you know, the heat, uh, you know, the infrared on the heat. I really like that. That wasn't here before either. And I think that's so cool. <laughs> This is one of my favorite things here. So you go in front of this green screen and then you can kind of pretend like you're doing like a weather report. So it like it's really cool to see how it looks. So you're like, come back here and then it like comes up on the report. So of a lot of the places that I go, the gift shop here at the Clark Planetarium, it's not always like necessarily cheap, but it's one of my favorite gift shops because they've actually got like science stuff and things that the kids can really do. So it's a little bit of a unique gift shop. It's not about just like a souvenir of like a character or something like that. It's actually things that they can take home and do. Um, check out this gift shop, it's really awesome. All right, so kind of ending out this video, um, I cannot recommend this place enough. It's just really fun to come down to. Um, one thing I would say is pop in that gift shop and buy a little something. Um, it is free to get in here, and so you're not really paying anything. So even if it's just a little something, um, it helps this place, uh, you know, stay stay running. And this place has been around for so long. So make sure you pop in there. Thanks for joining us on this. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the subscribes. You know, we're starting to kind of branch out and do some other things around Utah. If you got any ideas of places you'd like me to go check out, let me know. Thanks for joining us on the XP Project.